Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions. In today's tutorial, I am going to take you through an edit uh, showing you how to use both actions and a little bit of cloning, patch, and healing tool work to help soften the lines and brighten up shadows. Uh, normally, I don't shoot in bright sunlight, um, especially if we're getting that midday sun where we're getting a lot of harsh shadows and so forth. Uh, this image here was uh, it was shot at around uh, right before sunset, but we're still the sun was pretty bright, and we're st she is in um, the shadow of the little guy's face, and we've got right here on her chin and up here we've got some harsh shadows and uh, shadow down here again and underneath her nose there, and normally I would just I actually did trash this photo, but I'm for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to show you how if you if you do or if you are forced to shoot in sunlight and you're getting harsh shadows and there's no way around it, normally I would say try your best to get in some open shade and um, shield some of that light if you have to shoot in the midday sun. Um, and but if if you have to do that and you end up with some shadows, uh, this is a way that you can help soften those shadows a little bit and brighten up those shadowed areas. It's a more challenging thing to deal with, but it can it can be um, improved. You can't get rid of them completely, but you can improve it. So we are going to start with a little uh, cloning work, and I'm going to make a new layer. And uh, this is a blank layer. You can click here and hit new layer there. And I am going to start with the healing tool. So I'm going to start with this healing brush and zoom way in. And I'm going to select right over here in this clean area there. And I'm going to, my brush is set at 44% opacity already because I want to build it up gradually. And click on a clean spot and then clean, click over the top of where the shadow is and do that a little bit. And I'm going to also, I, I'm going to mix all the tools I'm using to do this. Um, I started that with the healing brush, but I think I'm going to do a little um, patching and a little bit of cloning as well and just mix it up and see what works best for you. People like different tools for different reasons. I'm going to select my back background layer and make a copy of it and this is to do my patch work and I'm going to select my patch tool up here and I'm just going to loosely select the area that had the, the harsh line on it and drop that and select it again and drop it into a clean area. See that? Now that didn't work and you know you have to sometimes you just have to go do undo it and try from a different spot. I'm going to I'm going to this is my uh, initial layer here I did the healing work on, and I'm going to drop the opacity on that a little bit, 70%, and then I'm going to merge it into this back, this background copy, and I'm just going to hit Command or Control E, and it merges it into this copy here. So those are combined now. And then I'm going to continue with my patch tool here and just select those little hard lines there and drop it into the clean area. And then, um, let's see here, this one, this one here, I'm gonna get really close. And, and then I'm gonna select this little line here. This one might be a more difficult one because the contrast is so deep. I'm gonna drag it over here for a clean area. And when it blends it, it might make the color a little bit funky, so we might need to do a little color correction there too after we're done. But we'll first we'll work on softening it up. This line right here. And then I'm going to get my uh, 
cloning stamp and you can just hit S to do that, to choose the clone stamp. And uh, select from a clean area, stamp over the shadowed area. And I'm going to raise my brush size up, make it nice and big and soft. And I'm going to select from this area here and go over where the line is. And on her lip, she's got a little bit of a line there. And my brush is still at 44%, so I'm not stamping at 100% over the areas I'm correcting. And you see I'm, I'm constantly moving um, where I'm sampling from around, so it's not sampling from the same spot, and changing my brush size as I need to. And let's see here, that's like how that's looking. I'm going to do this neck area down here because we've got a line down there too. So I'm just going to select loosely around the hard line, drag it to a clean spot, drop it, loosely select, drop. Yeah, if you do that and it doesn't blend well, then just undo and try again to get a spot that blends well. So it's, Photoshop's trying to guess what's the best way to blend that for you. Usually it does a good job, but sometimes it looks awful and you just have to hit undo and try it again. You know, just clean up some little spots and... This is the patch tool still. Just You can also, you can also uh, use the uh, healing brush and I like to use the healing brush on its own layer Right now I'm working on the background copy layer. Um, I'm going to make a new blank layer again and uh, Increase my brush size and I'll just show you this is actually will show you this um, Yeah, let's use the healing tool and um, I'm select from this area here and just go over those little lines see that See that's not blending very well there, so I think I'm going to Drop this one. I'm going to Select the background copy layer and merge it into the background by hitting Command E or Control E on a PC. And I'm still on my blank layer here. And you need to make sure you have current and below selected for the sample. And that's not, see, that's not blending very well. So I'm going to go back and use my stamp cloning tool again and make it nice and big. It's still at 40 44%, so it's keeping it light and soft. And that's looking a lot better. And we'll zoom out and see how we're doing here. And then we're going to lighten that all up in just a minute, too. So there's... And... I'm going to see, and what you can do now, this is on its own layer, and I'm looking, this area here is too light. It's looking unnatural. So I'm going to just take my eraser tool, uh, really large, and I'm going to drop it down to, because I want to take all of it away, drop it down to 45%, and just go over that area there. And that looks better. Okay, so drop that in, and this is before, and you can see we've got this line here, this line here, this line here all these little shadows down here and uh, this is what we did there and it's not getting rid of it you're still gonna you're not gonna be able to match the exposure perfectly on each side of the face when there's a shadow like that but you can soften the lines up like that and then I'll show you how to brighten that up I'm going to use uh, the brighten shadows from picture perfect portrait mega set and this is a brush on action, so we're going to brighten the shadows in this area here. I'm going to use one big, nice big one. And we're at 50 per, 50, about 50% 50 opacity, and just brush that on. Brush it on his face a little bit. And lighten this over here too. Okay, and so you can you know, turn it way up. Just as dramatic as you need it. And there's a before and after. And go a little bit brighter on that. And then I'm going to add, sometimes it gets a little bit washed out looking. I don't want it to get washed out looking, so I'm going to 
uh, run a little light and pop from Picture Perfect. And this is going to make it way too bright, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to lower that down 40%, and then I'm going to invert this because I don't want it applied to the whole image. And so I hit, com I hit select my layer mask here, hit Command I or Control I on a PC, and it inverts that layer so it's black. And if your layer mask is black, nothing shows up on that layer effects unless you paint with white. So I have my brush selected in white, and I'm going to just paint over just the shadowed area because I'm bringing a little bit more light and a little bit more contrast back to those areas there. Paint there, right there, and here. Yeah, I'm going to leave that. You want, you want, you want to keep dimension. You don't want it completely fat, flat. So this before and after, and that's looking good. And then... And then I'm just going to add a little bit of a final artistic touch to this, and uh, I'll just choose Velvet Retro from Picture Perfect, and let that go, and I'm going to turn on the richer contrast layer, and then I'm going to drop it way down because I don't want it that drastic, and I'm also going to turn off the warm up layer because I think it's looking too warm. They were in golden sunlight, so it's warm to begin with, but it's a, just very subtle there. And there's a couple of things. If I was actually going to edit this picture all the way, I would do some other things to it, but this is actually not a keeper photo anyway. There's some problems with it, but um, for the sake of demonstration, it had good shadows to show you, and uh, you might want to you know, soften. You don't want to soften too much right in here because you don't want to lose the bridge of her nose, so I didn't touch that too much. And uh, show you the before and after. That's before, and that's after before and after. I hope that was helpful and I hope you all have a beautiful day and I thank you for listening.